You've seen him cooking and cracking jokes with Bobby Flay on the Food Network and Brian Park on HBO. He's also regular on the world-renowned Carolines on Broadway. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Steve Martin. Hey, how are you guys feeling? Come on, you still have your good energy tonight? Give me a nice round of applause. You guys having fun? Without Lenny Bruce, I could never do the type of comedy that I do. Lenny elevated Jewishness and Jewish phrases to being hip. That's what a great comedian does. And Lenny Bruce elevated comedy uh, to the point where it has to be called art. Yeah, my name is Keith Black. I'm a screenwriter. Um, yeah, I wrote a script for Woody Allen, and it's really funny. No, I'm sorry. We don't take unsolicited material. Oh. You don't take unsolicited material? That's right. I'm sorry. Hmm. All right. Well, thanks anyway. Hi. My name is uh, Keith Black, and... Hello? Hello? Hey, um, can I ask you a question? The first time you kissed a guy, he didn't kiss you good. Would you go out with him again? No, no way. Oh, I wouldn't discount a guy just because he didn't kiss well. Listen, if he can't kiss, he can't dance, then you know what else he can't do. No offense. Oh, no I offense. don't know about that. It's all about the chemistry between two people. When it comes to kissing, basically what it's about is whether you love the guy or you like the guy, and that's what the whole difference is. Uh, all right. <laughs> What's that? What's you want her to love you? There's only one word you need to know, fellas, and it's the only word that should ever come into your mind when you speak to a woman, and it's this. Yes. <laughs> yes. They like it better when you're like this. Yes. Yes. You're the queen. I'm nothing. You're always right. I'm always wrong. Yes. trying to find someone, but I just can't find them. Maybe the trick is, date somebody who cooks the food you like. Right? You like Italian food? Date somebody Italian. You're Jewish? Date somebody Chinese. <laughs> I'm Jewish. I tried looking at a personal ad. It said, looking for single male, must be Jewish. Must love the outdoors, adventure be daring, must be Jewish. I showed up, it was a skinhead rally. <laughs> Maybe the trick is just date somebody who has the same sickness you have. What about that? You'll have something in common. Marry her. Hear those wedding vows. Do you promise to love, cherish, and wash your hands 65 times a day? I pronounce you both obsessive compulsive. <laughs> I'm Neil. I'm excited. Archipelago chose me to find a way to signal the opening of the exchange. That's important. Got it, got it. Got it. There's no way I'm going to let them down. I'm a little bit nervous, too. Oh, nice. I mean, I'm going on the road. North. Going to all those strange places. Okay. Staying in strange hotels. Who knows what's living in those public restrooms. It's all right. I can handle it. So I'm a guy who's all about business. Who laundered this? <laughs> okay. I know it's not going to be all work. We're going to be having fun, and I know Jeff's a fun guy, but you know what? I'm a fun guy, too. Come on. I was an RA in college. But now we're okay, gonna hold your breath. All right, all right. Ready? Are you ready for this? I'm always ready. I'm okay. down with you, Chef Daddy. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> You're not the first person who's called me that. Okay. What we're going to do is, now, you can put some olive oil on this, but I don't really think you need to, because we're going to use the skin side. Okay, mm -hmm. so the skin is actually going to protect it from the grill, and there's enough fat on it as well, as, as it is. So we're just going to season it with some salt and pepper okay. on the skin side down first. Is that the kosher salt? Kosher salt. Which you like. I do like it. Do you know why? Uh, it costs a little less. 
<laughs> well, actually, they have really big boxes for the right <laughs> room. Yeah, a big box of just four little grains. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, because of the texture, you said, and you can count. Well, you can not count, but you can feel... <laughs> well, I would probably Actually, count. that's the job. I want you to count how many salt grains <laughs> are in here. I'll be right back. Okay, so now we've seasoned this with salt and pepper. Now take right. this over to the grill, and if you want to... How you know, cold is it? It's so cold, I saw a dancer at Scores wearing thermal pasties. <laughs> I could yodel in there. <laughs> Comedy. I've been working on the railroad all the live long day. You waxed. She's hot. Give her a nice round of applause. She is very, very hot. She's very good looking. We're so funny. Oh, there. thank you. Thank you. Am I being rude if this doesn't work out, right? Can I give you a card? Is that right? That's my number, Sandy. You can't really call me because. Um, Is it okay? I'm not being rude. No, I want no. You to, if call. everything works out with Andy, call. it's fine. But if not, I'm fine. It won't work out with Andy. Times have changed, have they ever? How many women here have laughed so hard you started to pee? In comedy clubs today, it often seems profanity is as common as the two-drink minimum. At New York's Dangerfields Comedy Club, where Bob Hope used to visit on occasion, profanity is part of Steve Marshall's act. Because it releases a certain anger in you. But Marshall believes comedy hasn't changed because of profanity. It's just that many comedians today just don't have their own identity. The only four-letter word ever associated with Bob Hope was golf. I think, unfortunately, it's changed in that Bob understood you needed a character and a persona. And I think most of today's comedians uh, don't understand that comedy comes out of character. To a degree, comedy is comedy. Bob Hope's daughter, Linda, says her dad is a big Chris Rock fan. I think he's amazed that Chris Rock gets away with some of the stuff.